Amazon just released their new Echo Dot 5th generation, and you might be wondering, why buy this one? Of course, there are some improvements and new features, but when it's Prime Day or Black Friday, the older, less expensive Echo devices might be a better option. So let's compare the older versions to see if you should save some money or if the new improvements are worth it. Here we have the new Echo Dot 5th Gen, and if you're like, hey, that looks exactly like the previous 4th Gen, well, you're right, because from the front they're almost the exact same. On the back there's one big difference, and that's no 3.5mm audio jack out. I guess even Echo devices cannot escape Apple's courage to remove the jack. But you can see this is the Echo Dot 5 with clock, and it's slightly different with a high density LED dot display. Personally, I like the look of the old clock better because it's easier to read from a distance. But now the display can show more than just the time. It can show things like the weather, song titles, and it can even spell out words. I'm curious if this can be used for anything else in the future. You know, like another avenue for Amazon to display ads for us. I'm kidding, Amazon would never do something like that. Another new feature is an accelerometer. This lets you tap the side to pause music, snooze alarms, stop a timer, or hang up calls. It actually works pretty good. Almost too good. I found myself accidentally pausing music or starting a song way more than I thought I would. If you press the button, it doesn't trigger the accelerometer, but the buttons are so small that I often press the side of it when I'm trying to hit the button, and then it pauses the music. In the settings, you can disable the play and pause music tap gesture, so if it ever got annoying, you can just turn that off. But you can still keep it on for stopping alarms and timers. Or you can just hit it with a 1-2 knockout. Yeah, that should pause it indefinitely. There's also a temperature sensor built in, which the 4th gen Echo had as well. You can use it to trigger a routine, like get a notification if a kid's bedroom is too hot or cold. Oh, and another interesting addition, this works as a Eero extender. If you use the Eero mesh Wi-Fi system, this can extend your coverage up to a thousand feet. I don't use Eero in my home, but I love this feature. Amazon is thinking outside the box, or I should say sphere on this one, and it's great to see these smart speakers getting more functionality. The other change is that Amazon updated the processor. And honestly, they update it every generation and I can never tell the difference from the previous one. And this is no different. So those are the feature updates, excluding the sound improvements, and they're all kind of nice to haves. Now, if you've bought into the Eero system, then this thing might be a no-brainer. But let's compare the sound, because Amazon is saying it has two times the bass of the previous generation and much lower distortion. So if it's way better, then that might be the deciding factor, even if you don't need those extra features. Here it is compared with the Echo Dot 4th Gen. sound very similar to each other. Yes, the bass is slightly better, but if you're doubling something that's already starting so small, like going from 1% to 2%, then it's not going to be that big of a jump. There is lower distortion though, and this is noticeable if the volume is cranked up or if the voice is talking. The current weather is 90 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. The current weather is 90 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. I was wondering if the lower distortion and better sound quality would be closer to Apple's HomePod Mini, but it's not even close. Yes, the HomePod Mini costs twice as much, but Apple seems to be breaking the laws of physics with that little speaker. What about the larger Echo 4th Gen? I mean, it's only 10 to $20 more when you factor in Prime Day sales. The larger Echo blows the new dot out of the water. Way more bass and a much more full sound which is what you would expect from a bigger speaker. 
The Echo 4th Gen has similar features too, since there's also a temperature sensor built in, and it's getting updated to be an Eero extender as well. There's also a Zigbee hub inside, which none of the other dots have, including the new one. So that might be another benefit for getting it, even though I personally wouldn't use it as my Zigbee hub. Okay, let's throw in the Echo Dot 3rd Gen because it's such a steal when it's on sale. The current weather is 91 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. You can expect more of the same today. The current weather is 91 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Throughout the day you can expect more of the same. It sounds okay for the size, but the new dot is significantly better, especially when it comes to clarity and distortion. That was the third gen's biggest weakness, and there's a night and day difference now compared to the new one. Alright, now that we've looked at the new features and audio, it's time to talk about whether or not you would actually want to get this thing. If you're looking to add or replace a smart speaker in a kitchen or family room where you might listen to music often, I would buy the bigger Echo 4th Gen. Music is going to sound 10 times better, and on sale it's only about $60, which is barely more than the new Dot, and I think it's worth the extra money. If you want a smart speaker somewhere like your nightstand, then the new Echo Dot 5 with clock is the one to get. The clock will automatically dim when it gets dark, and being able to just hit the dot to stop a morning alarm is nice. It even shows you when an alarm is set with a small indicator on the screen, and that alone makes the new display pretty useful. Obviously, if you use Eero, then this would be a great way to extend your coverage. But if you already have the Echo Dot 4th Gen and you don't use Eero, then I would not upgrade because they're so similar. Now, if you have the Echo Dot 3rd Gen or later, then I would think about upgrading. And here's why. The new Dot has the ultrasound to detect if someone is in the room, just like the 4th Gen. This allows you to run routines like turn off the lights if no one's in the room anymore. I've been doing this in my kid's bedroom and it's been great. Plus you get the temperature sensor for routines and the clarity is going to be a huge jump forward. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's worth upgrading to the Echo Dot 5? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. What's 35 times 7? 35 times 7 is 245. Hey, whoa, is this thing even working? Oh, how do you spell igloo? Igloo is spelled I D I O T. Whoa, that's just mean. Are you trying to be funny? Ha 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 ha.